Good afternoon. I'm John Becker, and I'm your Madison County Board Chairman, and I'm here to talk to you about our August 11th, 2020 County Board meeting. Uh, first, uh, we had uh, Ron Raymer introduce uh, Don Smith, who was our former Veterans uh, Director here in Madison County. He's retired, but he is the head of WAVEM. It's the uh, War Memorial uh, Veterans out in front of the uh, courthouse here in Wampsville. It was a concept that was put together back in the uh, early 80s, mid 80s, and it came to fruition. Uh, there is one monument for each one of uh, the wars uh, here in our country and uh, memorializing those who uh, did not come home from our county. And this past year, with the dedication of the courthouse, we, there is a five-sided stone in the center of it uh, one section is dedicated to uh, Operation Enduring Freedom, uh, the War on Terror, where two uh, young men, um, Jeremy Lasher and Ed Bolin from Madison County, did not come home, and their names are memorialized on that uh, memorial also. Don explained how uh, this came to fruition, how the memorial came to fruition, how much work was involved, uh, how the flags are paid for, that kind of thing, and uh, we appreciate him coming in. Uh, Don's a native of Hamilton, New York. Uh, he's a retired U.S. Air Force veteran and retired, as I said, director of Madison County Veteran Services, and he's currently serving as the acting president uh, of the uh, War Memorial Veterans here, Wave Uh He took over for Doug Guinea, who uh, sadly passed away uh, early this year. Um, and it was a good presentation. Uh, we also had two retirees um, this, year, uh, this month. One was from social services, one was from um, the sheriff's department. Uh, we wish our retirees, uh, Catherine Sieber and Robin Clancy, both well in their retirements. Um, today, the board met and began talks about the budget. Um, we're concerned about this year's budget. Well, we are ahead on internet net sales tax. We are not ahead on regular sales tax, uh, which we rely on heavily here uh, in Madison County for our budget. Um, discretionary, we don't have a lot of discretionary spending here. Um, it is with mostly the Sheriff's Department and um, our Highway Department, which uh, we've taken very well care of the past few years. Um, and uh, we're going to have to tighten our belts this year because it looks like we're not going to have the money coming in uh, that we usually have with this COVID-19 thing. And also, uh, I did get on a little kick yesterday uh, about the governor and uh, the reports of him asking the billionaires to come back, his whole handful of buddies that are billionaires, to uh, add to the coffers of New York State. Um, my question is, what happened to the million people that left New York State between 2000 and 2010 and uh, the other million that have left between 2010 and 2020? Maybe we should ask them to come back with lower taxes and lower regulations. We're one of the highest tax states and regulated in the United States of America. And in 2011, when the governor ran for governor, his platform was, you cannot be the highest tax state and highest regulated state in the United States of America and expect to survive. Well, Albany has moved us back to that status. And with this COVID-19 and their regulations that they will not move off of, uh, we've talked about this in our control rooms, that they need to let wedding venues open up, which they have uh, with a court order, uh, court ruling, open up, but bowling alleys need to open up, gyms need to open up, uh, gatherings need to open up, and as I've said before, the government cannot take care of you. If you do not feel safe or you feel um, threatened in any way by going into a situation, don't go. Stay home. Uh, Albany thinks that they can keep us safe from everything. They can't. Uh, we have flattened the curve. Uh, we are at pre-COVID numbers for uh, uh, this COVID um, on our control room calls. Our, my good friend, County 
Uh, Executive McMahon has said he's contact traced everything that they can in Onondaga County and have not contact traced one case to a bar or a restaurant. We need to get our bars and restaurants back open. These people aren't going to survive. Uh, we've had a gym owner from Casanova call. She's got about one more month before she's going to be out of business. And we are clamoring at Albany to get these businesses open. And we get, we're running it up the flagpole. We'll look into it. Um, I hope by Friday that they have something for us. Um, if they don't, we may take action here in Madison County to open up everything ourselves because uh, we understand our local economy. They don't understand it in Albany. They've got no clue. Um, and uh, we need to do something to get, uh, get things moving and uh, be able to have enough so we can provide services here in Madison County, the high quality services that we always provide and we've taken pride in. Um, the past 14 years, uh, we've only kept the tax levy to a 2%. We've stayed below the 2% tax cap uh, this year. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to do that. We probably aren't going to be able to do that. Um, so we're going to be looking at uh, possibly tax increases and uh, possible cuts. We're going to, we've already talked to department heads and they've given money back from this year's budget already. Um, and we will be going to the well for more. Um, we've always prided ourselves on giving our employees everything they need to do their job, but this is an extraordinary year uh, and it's gonna call for extraordinary measures to make sure that we get through to the other side, uh, providing a quality service which Madison County residents are used to. Um, last month, the board uh, approved a three-month uh, or a three-strike rule for um, people and businesses that were in violation of the uh, face covering and mass gathering uh, rules of New York State. Um, we do not want to enforce that, so please don't put us into that situation. Um, we have had to send letters to a few uh, establishments, and we have not had to shut anybody down or find them. And as I said, we don't want to be in that situation uh, to have to do that. So please, if you're a business owner, please be responsible and uh, abide by the rules, the uh, six feet away distancing and the social, the face covering uh, social gatherings. Um, with that, um, we're going to move on to our budget and uh, look forward to talking to everybody next month. I hope that I have better news. Um, we have been working with our federal partners in the White House as well as in the United States Senate and Congress on um, monies for New York State. Uh, there is three different camps uh, in Washington, D.C. Uh, one that wants to give more stimulus money out, uh, one that wants to not give any out, and another one that wants to not give uh, stimulus money and bail out states like New York, who have uh, often uh, been uh, lavishly spent on programs and uh, uh, overspent their uh, budgets by billions of dollars and um, Albany is looking for a bailout. And unfortunately, the locals in the counties are lumped in with that. We were hoping that uh, we would at least get something uh, from the feds to take care of the sales tax shortfall or the uh, state aid cut that uh, the governor has proposed, which is a minimum of 20%, which is about $3 million here in Madison County. Um, that's the reason why I'm on my kick a little bit today about uh, the billionaires and the uh, two million people that have left the state. Uh, if those two million people had stayed in this state, they'd be paying taxes, own property, buying groceries, cars, and everything else. Um, and they would probably equal or surpass what the five billionaires that the governor wants to court to come back to our state. Um, I'm worried. I'm worried about our community. I'm worried about our state and I'm worried about our country. Um, I hope that uh, we can come out of this thing whole and with some semblance of normalcy. Um, 
and so does our board, uh, your representatives here on the Madison County Board of Supervisors. So with that, um, I'm going to wish you luck for the rest of the month. And if anything does come up uh, that's emergency, we will definitely get back on. And uh, we will see you again here in September. So thank you.